Let's go ahead and multiply 26 and 1 tenth times 3 and 4 tenths. Go ahead and line up the last number. Okay? 26 and 1 tenth times... I'm working backwards so that way I can line them up, right? You're not lining up decimals. You're lining up the last number in each decimal, okay? So 1 times 4 is 4. 6 times 4 is 24. Put the 2 at the top. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. Place value holder 0. 1 times 3 is 3. 6 times 3 is 18. Put a 1 there. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 4 plus 0, 4. 4 plus 3, 7. 0 plus 8, 8. 1 plus 7, 8. Count the number of places after the decimal. And add, you get 2, right? Start from the back. Whenever you have a whole number at the bottom, you start from the imaginary decimal in the back and move over one, two spots. Put a decimal up where, where it concludes. It's 88 and 7400.